Thank you for coming to this session. I'd like to start my session. Um, I'm Shunsuke Mie. I'm working at the Eagle in Japan. Usually I'm working for the Embedded Linux. Today I, I'd like to share my recent works that is uh, about virtual device for testing more, uh, testing the Linux PC endpoint framework. Let's get started. Okay, I'd like to start with the briefest overviews. I'll give you a brief overview of uh, devices that uh, virtualized. The PC endpoint controller manages the functionality of devices attached to the PCI bus. It, it is usually equipped with the PCI uh, cars, some, uh, for example, NVMe, network, and ZPUs, and so on. However, some controller has a capability to cooperate with software. In this case, software can mimic any type of PCI devices and uh, mimic with behavior the PCI function. So it is interesting technology and hardware. And I'd like to also explain the framework. The Linux has a framework to support uh, such the controller, uh, which can be cooperated with software. This framework uh, works as the abstraction layer to implement the software-defined PCI endpoint function. And this function, the software-defined function, is called in Linux kernel PCI endpoint function driver. It is abbreviated sometimes e drivers. Uh, this is the main topic. Uh, it is an interesting framework, but the framework and the endpoint framework, uh, function driver are uh, not fully matured yet. There are some reasons, I think. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, develop on the test task needs physical board and machine with some setups. Uh, I direct to solve and uh, direct to improve uh, uh, development experiment. So I direct to provide an environment that to easy to set up and run tests to and run uh, implement the IP drivers. And this is my proposed setup for virtual endpoint uh, testing environment. There are two VMs instead of the physical hardware. They are connected via the virtual PCI bus. And I introduced the virtual P endpoint control devices. And this diagram is, is the detailed architecture from previous slides. For virtual PCI buses, I direct to use the VFI user. Uh, the VFI user is uh, designed by Nutrix and designed to implement device emulation at, outside of the VMM on the same host. And it, is, uh, it has a client server model. Client works as a PC host. Uh, PC from the PC perspective, it is called root complex, and the server works as a PC device. It is also called endpoint. And uh, communication between the client server is used using use the Unix domain socket. And for the data plane, the shared memory is used between the VM, uh, VMM guest. And the uh, 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 protocol is opened, so this, uh, pro, uh, this is a VMA agnostic. From the PMM perspectives, uh, already live VFI user, it is server side of VFI user is introduced and used for multi-process QM. So this feature uh, fitted to use case from us. It's, uh, it's a, we designed a custom virtual endpoint controller. Also, we can emulate the existing endpoint controller, but I think it has higher implementation cost because the widely used APC has also the root complex com functionality on this leading to large feature sets. And the uh, APC has a lot of configuration for various embedded walls. 
So I don't think either is necessary when considering only the virtual endpoint controller. Instead of the disadvantage of the custom controller, so we have to require the custom driver for each uh, guest operating system. Although there are downsides, I believe the upside uh, outweigh them. Uh, this figure shows the uh, stuff tier and we had a relationship around the KM endpoint controller and the drivers. The blue box indicated the newly proposed modules the driver communicate with the game endpoint controller and the Linux PCI endpoint framework, but the controller is designed to perform a straight force. So the driver is is uh, sorry driver has a few tasks just uh, receive a request from a, from a framework and pass to the uh, control emulate uh, game endpoint controller. Next, I will focus on the internal of the game uh, endpoint controller that I introducing. Game endpoint controller provides the uh, functions to operate the PCI trans transaction from software. It enables to implement a EBIF driver in software. These operations are achieved by the utilize BFIO user or BFIO, BFIO user. I'll explain one by one. First is handling access to PCI configuration space. This is a process that occurs when the host PCI driver read or write device information or configuration via the configuration space, providing a way to configure the configuration space is essential for defining the type of inf type and the information of the device and some send a command from the EPF. Uh, this diagram illustrates how the endpoint function driver and the game endpoint controller interact with the with each other uh, using the VFI user. First of all, KMU APC set up the region for the PCI configuration space that exposed the PCI uh, endpoint function driver. And uh, KMU APC respond uh, from uh, PCI driver uh, access to the devices, in this case, PCI configuration space, to, to response this, the KMU APC Endpoint controller by returning a configuration space values that has been defined uh, uh, PCI endpoint function driver. So, uh, software defined driver uh, defined uh, configuration values that respond the uh, endpoint controller. Uh, next one is the uh, I will explain the process of accessing the memory region pointed by the base address register that in the uh, that is in PCI configuration. It is one of the request from the root complex to endpoint memory. It's almost the same figure, but difference is light and the uh, side. The memory region located on the RAM, the on the endpoint controller, a root complex PCI device driver access to the region. To realize this, uh, using BFIO and the, the KMA PC response to request from RC. And uh, we have finished explaining the processing of request using from the root complex. And next is the following slide will focus on the request from the end of point. Uh, and this is a handling request to accessing accesses RC memory. It is 
commonly known as a DMA because the memory read and write request from the device side, PC endpoint side. Uh, instead of the setting the callbacks, in this case, we used the memory sharing uh, using VFI user. PCI host memory region can be mapped to the VMware process that works by the VFI user, and the memory region is mapped to the guest on request from the APF driver. After that, uh, the guest operating system access the root, root compress memory transparently without any callbacks and transaction. The last one is interrupt is method to notify the host driver to device, in this case endpoint. If I use a facility, the exchange I interrupt notification using event FD. So we just call the VFU setup device in our reset and uh, after that we can write the uh, interrupt the API named VFU IRQ trigger. The internally the event FD is updated and notified to the uh, root complex side uh, drivers. Now that I've explained all of the feature and how to realize them, so I'd like to move the demo part. And for uh, for the demo, I I have following tools I used for used. And there are two VMA. One is a uh, a cloud hypervisor for root complex side and the uh, second one is a QEMU for endpoint side because cloud hypervisor has a VFI your client and uh, QEMU has a VFI server side so we just used them and uh, used the we I introduced the devices that is virtual APC device and operating system Linux is used and the two Testing, we used uh, some drivers and tools. It is PCI PIF test and the PCI endpoint test and PCI test. I explain detail more. Uh, uh, digging into the detail, this shows the overview of the testing. There are TV, two VMs and uh, connected between the VFI user or Linux domain socket and loaded the uh, APF driver and the uh, PCI driver on the uh, left side, the root convex side. As a result, the PCI endpoint test, PCI driver and the PCI APF test driver communicate over the uh, VFI user. Uh, let's show, before shows the demo, I explained the some fraud of the PCI EPF test. So what we will do, uh, in this sequence figure, I omitted some uh, PCI endpoint and controller and some drivers, just shows the PCI endpoint test and the uh, host driver. The first of all, host driver set up the payload to transport and uh, calculate the cache and uh, uh, write request command to send the uh, endpoint uh, bar region. After that, in the PCI driver detects it and start the command. In this figure, what I want to say is in this transaction, they are uh, for processing. One is the uh, configuration read from the root complex left side and uh, a memory accessing to the endpoint side from the root complex. 
and the DMA from endpoint and the interrupt. So let's start a demo. Uh, they are split to console. It is corresponding to the the right side and the left side respectively. S oh, sorry. So I will run the QM at the right side and I will run the cloud hypervisor on the left side in the terminal uh, console. This is a command to execute the QEMU. Key point is uh, following. Uh, it is a, we, is a device that we introduce and uh, pass the parameter to represent the uh, Unix domain socket that create the VFI user. Run QM and Linux as a guest. And as you can see, the QM PCI uh, endpoint control driver is already loaded and uh, set up the PCI endpoint function function for testing. Uh, this command show they set up the PCI endpoint function. In this script, set up the PCI device ID and the vendor ID and bind the software defined function to the a controller and do startup. I forget to uh, provide, give a permission. Let's try. And the Linux. up the endpoint function and we can see the socket that created by the uh, QM APC. And next run the root complex side of hypervisor. In this I use the cloud hypervisor with this argument Key point is here, use the VFI user and uh, connect to the this socket. Also, our CSI Linux is launched. And uh, most bottom one, the device, PCI device is that shows by the right side over the VFI user and uh, 
a kernel module is loaded that is BCI endpoint test. So let's communicate with this test module. The PCI test is providing by Linux kernel and uh, Dash R means uh, uh, testing with read, and dash S means the uh, one kilobyte transportation in this test. After that, we can see the operation name and uh, trans payload size and OK. That this means the uh, Transportation value is correct with verification. So I think it works well. And finally, I have some tasks to upstream. The remaining task, uh, task is first is some buggy, fixed buggy code and uh, DMA control, DMA control emulation is quite uh, not 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 necessary, but uh, EPF yeah I'll cover the DMA transmission for testing. We need to implement it, and uh, for the QM we need to also implement the live migration. VFI will support the live migration, so it is not difficult for me. I think. And that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, do you have any questions, answers, or suggestions? Um, first, thank you for the talk. That was pretty interesting. Um, Sorry for asking ignorant questions. So I'm neither familiar with VFI user too much, nor with the EPF code in a Linux kernel. So if I got it right, um, um, when you access m memory mapped um, mm -hmm. memory of a PCI device via a bar, um, so you, you need some kind of shared memory between the, the QMU process and the, um, the other side, right? Yes, you're right. Yeah. Um, so the, this, this shared memory resides in, in the guest on the EPF side? Or is it in the, in the, in the QMU host process? Um, yeah. Actually, the mapping, uh, the sh mapping of the shared memory is uh, processed in the VFIO, VFIO user. So, so that's so, part of the QMU process, or is it part of the VM that runs um, in, in the QMU? It's on, on the QMU process. OK, so it's QMU process. So QMU has full knowledge where the memory resides. Yes, uh, okay, that's right. Okay. Okay, thanks. That clarifies my question. So I was wondering whether there's an IO or MMU required between the guest okay. memory or something like that. But okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Okay, there is no questions, suggestion. I'd like to close this session. Thank you for listening again. <laughs>